Hey guys, it's Levi again from Jornson Observatory on YouTube and today I'm going to do a very quick video on how to properly uh, balance your mount and your telescope and your astrophotography setup to ensure that you don't have any errors uh, down the line with guiding or your exposures or anything like that. So um, the first thing you want to do is just make sure that your mount is properly flat on the ground and the way to do that with most equatorial mounts is a little indicator here that um, most everyone should be familiar with. You have a little bubble um, in some liquid and you want to basically center that bubble on the uh, black circle here on my on my specific mount. But um, you want to make sure that your mount is perfectly flat on the ground. You can see I'm indoors here and I have that. You don't want to be setting up on rocks or um, uneven ground or anything like that. So the first way to properly balance your mount is look at your right ascension or polar axis um, lock here. And what you want to do is you want to unlock that and make sure that when you push your scope down, and you don't need any sort of um, go-to controller for this, when you push your scope down, you want to be able to let go of your complete setup and for it to stay put. Um, you can see here that mine's coming a little bit towards the counterweight side, and so what I want to do to adjust for that is actually slide this up just a little bit. Let's see if we can get this here. Wasn't too bad, so I'm just gonna slide it a little bit. And we're gonna try again here. Loosen it up. And you can see that as I leave it, it's not going anywhere. It's pretty much staying wherever I put it. Um, I can play around with it a little bit here, and it's not really leaning um, any which way. Um, a lot of guys online will actually recommend that you put a little bit more of the weight towards the counter side, just by a, a tidbit, because um, that'll help with the gears, and so there's not so much wear and tear in the gears, because they kind of have some some weight to work against and you can see here that I do kind of have that a little bit I can give it a little bit of a push here and it kind of wants to go that way just a little bit so um, that's how you properly balance your right ascension axis and of course for the second part you want to balance your declination axis and so you're gonna to go to your declination uh, lock knob here you're gonna pop that off and then you're gonna turn the entire telescope um, set up here and you're gonna see that in my situation it's properly balanced here um, but you might find that it might lean a little bit more towards the front end of the telescope or the back end. And the way to solve that is actually where you're mounting the telescope to the mount. Um, I've got my Vixen style uh, dovetail plate here. And so you will actually remove the telescope from the mount with these knobs here and slide this up or down to properly adjust so that you have the weight in the correct position. And when you're all done with that, you should be able to loosen both of your knobs here as you can see on mine, and basically you can point this thing any which direction you want and it's pretty much going to maintain and stay where you put it. Um, it's very easy to move around. This is great also for um, observation. You can see I'm leaning a little bit towards the bottom. That's okay. Um, like I said, for the gears. But um, overall, it's very um, easy to move around. You're not really feeling like you're having to lift or push very hard. and. Uh, that's when you know when you are properly balanced for your night of imaging. So thanks for watching.